Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, it's actually going to be a little bit different than my normal videos, because I'm not the one who's going to be talking to you for most of the video. So, if you're part of the Discord, or if you've seen many of my recent videos, you've heard me mention Tom Rom. he's like the main guy that I've got helping me with the Discord, helping kind of run things, put things together, he's also the one that gets me all the uh, infographics and a lot of information that I present in banner reviews and things of that nature. Um, anyway, I've been really busy with my new job and it is really hard for me to make videos that take any amount of time, which most of mine do during the week. So he has actually voluntarily put together a video of a lot of the new information that just came out. And I want you guys to have access to that. For those of you, especially I know who, you know, use my channel for your main source of information for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. I just want you guys to have access to that. So Tom Rom has made this video. This is going to be from him. And in that spirit, I would like to get your feedback on this. I'd like to know what you guys think, whether you think this is great to get the extra information and get it out quickly, even when I don't have the time, or whether uh, this was a failed experiment. Either way, I appreciate all the feedback I get. Uh, appreciate all of your support and your honest thoughts. Thank you very much. Without further delay, the video from Tom Rom. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's not Nightlight 9 this time, it is Tom Rom. Um, so welcome, uh, Nightlight's very busy at the moment, we've got some stuff going on, work is keeping on, but we have got a big announcement. So I wanted to make sure we could get something out for you lot, so it's going to be a little bit different, a lot more raw uh, data and just going straight to the like, social medias and stuff, I apologise, but it's something so you can get a good idea of what's coming out because i think it is just a little under 14 hours until all this goes live so let's have a look and um, we're going to go straight over to the social media because there is some big announcements and quite simply new chapter and playable character yes that's right we have got a hometown chapter um, just have a quick look at it and then we'll have a quick review just give me a moment let's cut the audio in the background so you can have a good hear of what's going on Final Fantasy 7 the war story and actually we've got Reno some lovely friends coming back and if you know you know Red talking about his hometown and a very interesting crypt which if for those you can remember why those golds are important it's because we are getting Vincent and a certain Galian beast form of his back as well so let's just go over some of this because it's interesting we are in a jungle place. I'll go over where we are in a moment, but we've got a jungle where we're meeting up with three of the members of the Turks, uh, to which then we are in a small uh, a small village, from the look of it, a small hut, um, talking about where to go home, and we've got a crypt. It looks like the next chapter is going to be bouncing around, and that's quite big because... Just for context, this is Gongaga. Like this is the this is the path that you go to to go to Gongaga. That is from the most likelihood the parents of Zach. We've got Red talking about uh, Red talking about his going back to his home, which is Cosmo Canyon. You've got Vincent. Vincent being in Shinra Manor that's behind Nibelheim, which means we go through Nibelheim. We're going to potentially going back to back to back to back in one chapter, going through Gongaga, Cosmo Canyon, Nibelheim, and into Shinra Manor. And they've got to do like tie up some loose ends because that's a lot of places to go through. And it's going to be really interesting to see how we go through that and understand what they're planning for. But ultimately, as you can see, this is the big announcement. We are getting Vincent. And 
oh boy, that is that's like for some people are massively looking forward to this. I remember some of the first people I found in this community were like, "When is Vincent dropping?" Because that is the unit they care about more than anything. Uh, so a little bit of a look because we've still got quite a few things to go through on the social media. As you can see, this is the official art card for Vincent. Is broody self looking as vampiric as physically possible with as about as much edge as physically can be put into one human at a time we've got his character as well as his limit break is going to be focused around a galian beast for those who don't know vincent had a site uh, game called dirge of cerberus set after final fantasy 7 and it goes more into the, that part of his story but just understand that when you see the beast and when you see vincent they are the same th same person and same thing uh, this is going to be his chibi character which is quite nice as you can see this in the bottom just over here go back to the card this is the art card and the character art you're going to see so if you see a big slumped bottom area with massive spikes when you see shadow uh, silhouettes when pulling that means you are getting a vincent weapon what type of weapons we're going to get? Well, we're going to get a rough idea when we keep going through. We've got this character introduction video. I'm not going to uh, worry about the audio for this so much. As you can see, we know about this. It's going to be him striking, and it's going to be quite interesting to see what we come with it. Let's scroll up a bit further. Uh, for those who don't know, it's going to quick pause. Uh, they are, I want to move this to a point where we can see it. We're going to potentially be able to get two free copies of Chiron. I think it's Chiron, Chiron. I'll go with Chiron because it's easier for me. Um, it's a, a, a rifle or shotgun that looks like a crossbow. Interesting, that's probably the style of weapon art that we're going to see going forwards. Um, we would get uh, up to two copies by having more than 6,000 people react to this post. Uh, and actually a few other posts uh, there's one for Final Fantasy 7 ECEN and another one for their JP so uh, JP version so if you can interact with both what they want you to do is they want you to follow the channel and they want you to repost this stuff that means obviously just down here hit and repost um, if you are a US citizen uh, and live in the US or one of the civic states you can check this with the official rules you have the opportunity to get yourself an Amazon gift card, but every person who joins in on this will help towards the entire community get extra copies of a weapon. For those who were around when we had the announcement for Yuffie, will remember that we got two free copies of the Four Point Shuriken, and the Four Point Shuriken is actually a really powerful weapon in back slots so we never know that this may be just an extra free bit of kit this is a free ob1 just for communicating with their social media team um let's have a look so we've got three days so i believe this is the first announcement of let's go mute this of a limit break this is okay this is all three limit breaks actually remember here so this is berserk dance switching to galian beast the, I believe it's Galian Beast. Galian Beast again for Beast Flare. And finally, his third one, Chaos Rampage. As you know, all three characters do have three things. But let's, let's pause on a certain thing. And just in the bottom here... Actually, let's go back a little bit. Because let's look through. I want to show off just a very certain thing about his third limit break. Chaos Rampage. Physical attack up. Magic attack up and haste. Yes, that's right. We are getting a limit break for a unit that comes with haste. Why is that so important? Well, haste allows for the quickening of, I believe, either the limit break or the ATB. I believe it will be ATB for this. I just need to confirm. We'll go through the foot post in a moment. I think it does describe it a bit better. Um, there has been some notes. If you see crits in these videos, try to ignore it. It's, they didn't mean to, they have, as I said, this screen is under development. This isn't the finalized version. And the developers do run a slightly different client than what we do as player bases. So they will see crits where we wouldn't usually see that. And we'll see that more in the upcoming videos. 
So let's see, three days. Uh, this was posted a couple of days ago. We can apologize for that. I'm glad that she'll be doing it now because then we can show off everything at one go. Again, so Blizzard AI is going to be shown. But let's see what we can see. We can ignore these three because these are material slots. But we've got a weapon that's going to be ice. That means that Vincent is dropping with Elemental Kit. He is getting Blazarka AA. As you can see, it pretty much tells you what's going on. It's ice magic damage upon all enemies. And usually that's just that it's soul ability. It's just hit all targets. That's quite nice. But we also have another ability here called Spinning Pentashot. What that does, we don't know. But we can get a rough idea that this is a non-elemental because of the mark up in the top left. Um, so let's just keep an eye on and see where we go. But that's nice. We've got another name of a move. Uh, we'll see if I can show it off. Really let's just go through it. Apologies for the thing. Spinning pentashot. Uh, what I can do is... Okay, so let's go back a little bit. We just saw that. I just want to see... I'm going to keep going back and forth. Inflicts non-elemental damage plus boost caster's limit gauge yes that is a single skill and it looks like that's going to increase by up to five percent i believe that this means that this percentage is going to be connected to overboosts. this is an overboost 10 because there's two pluses so you could probably presume that this means that we are going to have a interesting scaling for overboost weapons usually a lot of people we can say you know what take it to ob1 ob6 this could see the change in some weapons being now you really want them at ob10 because we're seeing a haste attached to a certain format or a quickening of just Limit gauge just increase up by 5%. And that 5% in certain fights really does make a difference. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that's shown in this. Limit gauge. Okay, so limit gauge acceleration. So we can see normal gauge. And like, we can see that little bit extra, which is quite nice. We can see how much of a difference that makes for an attack. Uh, that's it. Campaign 2, presentation, introduction to me. differs from in-game. Okay, so we can understand that some of the combat ability works differently, but they're trying really hard to explain it. Okay, so let's just point out some other things. We've got another elemental kit, Sludge Shot. So that's now two elements. We've got earth and ice. That's kind of important because we have got an ice summon, but we don't have earth. We actually have... I believe, and I can confirm this while we're talking, I don't think we've actually got that many weapons. Um, that uh, filter, let's have a look. I don't have all the weapons in my game personally, but yeah, we're looking at, you know, there's only a few weapons that are very earth-based. As you can see, like your Quaker is really, is actually quite a common. Makera, which is just a you know, lower version of, I believe, Quaker. Yep, so Quaker, Quaker, Quaker. So it's actually really common. So I think Quakera is just a free version. So just for context, what that means. Rock Blast is unique. So for unique versions of Earth, doesn't turn up that often. But as you may notice, they, they all come with magical. Uh, so most magical, except for this one, this one is physical. So whether it's going to be a physical Earth or magical Earth, we aren't sure yet. Um, but we'll see how that comes along and see what it comes with the kit. But we've also got another skill here called Sage Shot, and I believe just from scrolling back here, that is, yes, another weapon. So that's four weapons names, skill names that we can see currently in the game. Replay that. Reprieve. Why is this so important? This is the brand new ability that comes with Vincent. We don't know if it's attached to only Vincent. We believe it's attached to his outfit. And until we can be confirmed, we can't really say for sure, but we believe it's his outfit. Um, new buff is reprieve. Upon receiving lethal damage, you're given invincible. It means you, like, no matter what hits you take, you know, you're staying alive. But it only happens once per fight that's really useful because there are certain mechanics that are incredibly punishing uh, the first one that comes to mind is 
Shiva's uh, Shiva EX, the very first, as soon as you start the fight, within, I believe, eight seconds of the fight starting, eight to ten seconds of the fight starting, we're hit with an attack that, unless you are uh, prepped with enough stats to go into it, automatically kills you. Because it's just too fast for people to get enough ATB up and then use a skill to protect yourself to the standard you need to. So this is quite an interesting thing and it can be used and built around this entire concept. Just want to keep that muted, but we can see exactly how it works. We'll hit when HP four, HP is reduced. Okay. That is interesting. So it takes more hits. I'm gonna make sure I understood how HP is reduced. Berserk Dance. So Berserk Dance, there we go, is connected to his HP. So the lower HP, the higher the damage. But let's just go back and see that little reveal. I don't know if anybody noticed that. Mainly because I keep pausing it. But that is an alternate outfit. Vincent, this is potentially his free outfit, I'd guess. Always going to be his outfit that comes with the banner, which means we're getting a hooded version of Vincent. I didn't think it was any more possible to put more edge into him. It looks like I was wrong. Uh, so that's the end of that. We'll go into the other stuff in a moment. But that's a good understanding. You can see Vincent is going to be quite an interesting unit because healing him looks like he's actually going to affect his limit break. Like, you actively do not want to heal him and you probably want him to be put into an invincible state because you want him as low as health as possible before you do limit break because it looks like it's going to scale and going off those numbers if i can find exactly when the numbers are shown we're looking at almost triple that's a very big difference uh, interesting is Bahamut, so we can't tell. Uh, we probably means that this is physical and magical put together, but there's no element connected to it. Like most things, limit breaks don't tend to come with element, elemental attachments. But as you can see, there's like well, from up here, we've got more notices. And that's because guilds are dropping. Yes, and you may have seen it when I dropped into the game very briefly. Uh, but we have a new menu down here, guild. Yes, they have actually combined everything that was up here. This used to be solo and co-op. They've now combined it. Actually, probably a very good move. This is something a lot of people wanted to see because it just didn't make sense separating them. But Guild, which we can't go into. But I could try and find something. If I, I, should, I, could, I could probably bring up something, but it would be an absolute nightmare at the moment. But we've got new features coming. Uh, let's see if I can find stuff about the guild menu. I believe it's in notices because I remember seeing someone discussing it. I apologize. We've got, I should have really looked this up. Before. Okay. Guilds, uh, guild information. We know that it's coming in. So we, I'll go over some of the information that we were announced. But understand that a lot of it is on the fly. Like, we still don't know everything. Let's see if I can find it in the background at the same time. But we know that let's see, it's coming through. It's going to unlock a special bonuses that affect high wind materia. Also, it affects battle. And I believe I'd have to go look through all the settings. Uh, let's see if I can find it. And I apologize for those who are waiting because you can hear I really am trying to find this information. I bleed on the enemy. Having bonuses, so we've got a bunch of details. Okay, so I'm going to just directly move my Discord along, and I apologize if anything shows up. We really don't want it to. Now, this is the Nightlight server, by the way. If you wish to join it, um, come over. As you can see, we've got a bunch of communities that would love to hang out with you, and it's quite active throughout the day. Uh, we can see it's going to take about 100 crystal. Well, it is going to take 100 blue crystals to make a guild. This is very specifically blue crystals. So you can't just pay your way out of it. it is, that is worth noticing. It's 100 levels um, and it's going to take a bit of time to probably get there up to 100 levels, which is good. I really don't want it to take a long amount of time, a really short amount of time. I want it to be worth the grind. 
uh, on top of having your guild leader, you can have four submasters. This will probably help uh, the managing, managing of the guild because, you know, not every person can be around all the time. That's especially true for like content creators. It means that, you know, people like Nightlight can be the guild leader, which she is for this community. Like they've got a lovely guild that's going to be running. Uh, we're going to be actively pushing to expand it as much as possible. But we'll see how it goes. Max players will start at 30, but it increases based on guild level. We have heard that it's around 100 people max. We can't confirm that at the moment. How they're connected as well, we also don't actually know. We'll see how it goes. But I'm guessing, looking at some of the later information that comes through here, it's probably going to be attached to every five levels. Um, Submasters will look to be set to be able to invite people and kick players. That's going to look a little bit easier. We've got some raid battles, some, potentially some separate energy that is separated only for guilds, but we don't know. New data suggests that good energy may be scrapped in favor of a daily limit. That's interesting. We'll see how that goes. Again, this is just pure, this is data mine information. Thank you for, thank you so much for the people who get this information for us. We couldn't understand what was coming up without them. So thank you massively. Uh, contribution is based on a weekly experience provided by to the guild. That's great, it's good to know, which means there is a cap, which means some person can't like hoard all the dates, all the contribution for themselves. They are capped over and each person can work towards something. Rankings are with achievements. So there's a special achievement for being the top guild. Rankings will have a mock battle period. So it looks like guilds will to go against each other, as I guess. We have heard a little bit about that in the past. There's a watch list so we can watch other guilds. That definitely sounds like we're going to be having guild v guild content. We'll see how that works. Uh, a 14 day in inactivity auto kick. Uh, guild, will be, guild master will be reassigned if they are kicked. That's really useful to know. And that probably means that if you're in a guild where your leader says, you know what, I'm not playing the game anymore or can't play the game, it isn't the end of the world for your guild. Give it two weeks. I know it's a long time, but then it will get passed over and then someone else can take it over and they can keep running it. You can apply to five guilds. That's interesting because obviously you don't know which community you can be part of. Uh, 14 day inactivity period, uh, leaving or being kicked will lock you out of guilds for 24 hours. That is really damn important. So try not to mess around with the guild. Don't upset them. Uh, if you're a guild leader, you know, don't be rude. If, like, don't just kick people for no reason. It's going to affect them as well as much as it's going to affect you. We've got some bonus information. Let's just go over like the basics of what we know. There is four tiers information. Let's see if I can find it for you because we actually did some information of when this first got announced. Uh, this is the Japanese live stream. So let's go back to here. This is the guild menu that we got shown for the Japanese live stream. And the notes here are just stuff that I just auto translated into English over time. We can see that there is a power level. This is attached to the guild power level from the look of it. And this is the Guild and Guild level, name of it. Special menus, exchange office, we'll get into that in a moment. But it looks like we are coming with chat. Yes, this game does not have a chat feature and it looks like it's about to. Specifically for guilds and uh, for those who from the eastern side of the world who've probably seen this more than the western games. We don't really see this as much. Um, having stickers in chat is far more common in Japanese and Chinese games than it would be, say, the US or EU or UK games. So that's a nice feature. If we get that over here as well, I really am looking forward to that. I'll be interested to know, though, if the pictures do come with English titles, English text as well, because the game is written in English, but the voiceovers are all Japanese. So who knows? We'll see what comes with. I'm pretty much presuming we'll get them in English as well. Interestingly, you'll notice these four here. These are special guild bonuses. Um, I saw that in the data mine information, but we can see that you're going to have information for Materia, Battle, Chocobo, and High Wind Rank. Doing these can make some massive differences. This can increase stuff. Like we can see that. These three are going to say much, but understand they all come with bonuses, but I'm just going to focus on materia. 
materia can increase how little how less resources you need from one to 15 percent so that means when this is maxed out 15 percent less material is needed to max out a materia crafting this means that those who are hunting for five stars are going to be able to do it a lot easier with this new system in place so if you can i would recommend working on all of these together probably materia is going to be your number one and i would guess Probably battle's going to be your last one because we can already farm battles, luckily, unless they put something very special to that. We know that also there's going to be some guild battles at different levels of difficulty. We know that some people who are stronger are going to be better to go against this one, and we can see that different players are fighting different amounts of enemies. Some people are fighting at the difficulty one we've got a couple of people here so those three people that are fighting difficulty one and five people are fighting at difficulty two so if you're a stronger player you can help out at the stronger point we've got overall rankings we don't know if this is for guild or it's for player or how it's going to work until we actually get into the game we can have a look at it better once it drops for us again it drops in it's right now 1752 so it drops in just under just over 13 hours so we'll get the information as soon as we can to talk about it uh, we do see exchange room so what's that to do with well we can see if we go back far enough um can i find it probably not there was a couple of special weapons announced and I don't know if I kept them in this information. Oh yeah, so this is us being told about Vincent getting released, some of our summer outfits we very much liked, summer events going on right now. Here we go, Japanese. Um, those who've played Final Fantasy VII Remake will remember this is the nail bat uh, on a cloud's weapons. Uh, this most presuming being Vin uh, not Vincent's, that'd be very interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, probably being Barrett's weapon just because of this end of the weapon here. But we can see that there are weapons that are going to come to it. Who's going to get the earphones? Well, we really don't know. It'd be interesting to see what comes from it, wouldn't it? But you guys can get a rough idea of what's coming to the game. Now, how it's going to go, we really, really don't know. But all we do know is that the game is get into a very interesting position we have got this coming out we're currently in july we've got this coming out we have got let's go back into this we've got a roadmap of understanding what's coming out in the game we're currently here at literally the end of the fireworks going into vincent and gills there's a japanese version of this it was just me covering it over so i could read it in english we've got another chapter coming out next month with you know remove towers coming out an extra seasonal event that we don't know much about uh, and a new anniversary month in two months time this means that we've got a lot of content coming out a lot of content to explore today and that's a really good thing for the community i know a lot of people are worried that their tickets are going to stretch you know even further than they did before and i can understand that but as you can see let's uh, just go into missions for a moment campaigns they have given us so many new tickets and for those who don't know when a character drops they give us a way to get a whole lot of tickets for free so if you know if you're free to play you can pull for vincent and you know if you're lucky you may have some type of decent weapon a uh, decent build for him by the end of it now i can't do much but i can give you a basic pull 300 days to pull that's interesting i'm going to give you a little pull uh, a temple while we're closing up thank you for watching thank you for having me and hopefully next time we'll have nightlight come and join us instead of just having a lovely picture that we got hold of him today we're gonna skip this because we gotta do it the nightlight way uh, and it came with a sack it would have it's very appropriate it would have been nice if we were on the core ones is there anything interesting a zweihander so on that note oh, almost at 400 that hurts to see would have been nice to get that finished off today uh from that from me and the rest of the community thank you so much for having us have a nice time and take care